Hello guys, what's up and welcome to yet another review and today we are going to be reviewing something. Yes, this is not a tutorial video. This is a not a unboxing video but instead it is a review video and it is a review video of something that you may already have. It is a common object that we all use in our lives and it is a camera lens. No, you are, we are not going to be reviewing this 5D Mark II full frame DSLR that I bought for $250 because it is very cheap these days and I just recently got this I mean how dumb can you be to not get the full frame camera for 250 bucks I mean this is the full frame thing and it works it's just it's missing this side part over here you know what I think I'm gonna make a review of the 5D Mark II until up when I finally know how to use it perfectly but right now you know what let's just stick to the lenses so Today, we are going to be reviewing the thing that is attached to this camera and which is this thing. A 50mm Canon EF 1x1.82 lens. It comes with a lens cap as you can see there in front of there it says Canon. And it does come with something to close the back when you are using, you're not using it. <laughs> Let's say that you have several different lens that you want to put on your camera DSLR body. So you need to keep this in storage. So this is what it looks like with the camera lens cap off. As you can see there, really, really, really big uh, glass in front of there. Really, really big hole. Everything is absolutely exposed so everyone can see what's going on. All the light coming in there because of its one by 1.8 maximum aperture All right. so the back of this lens is made out of just look at that uh, beautiful uh, see that you see, you see like, wow it's pretty cool right and just look at that special effects going down there and the paper you look at it. oh it looks like I'm editing this in not in Photoshop Premiere or something, in Adobe Premiere or something, but I'm actually using OpenShot Video Editor in order to modify all this, so it's kind of weird. So anyway, the back of the lens, this is a cheap lens, it usually retails for like $200 or something new, so the back of the lens you're not going to get yourself a metal mount, but instead you're going to get yourself a plastic mount. A plastic mount. It's ABS. It never failed me yet. It hasn't failed me yet. But then again, if you're a professional, this thing is not going to be something that you want to carry around because this thing is going to instantly break once with the slightest budge inside your camera bag and you'll be traveling a lot and this thing will break on you. Um, yeah, the plastic mount. It's kind of crappy. It has uh, some uh, metal connectors there, so the camera can, so the lens can speak to the camera body. So that's pretty good. Uh, what does it say there? What does it say there? It is there's a serial number. I'm not gonna spell it out for you. And it, this one is uh, something written down there. Uh, there you go. What is it? It's Canon Incorporated made in Malaysia. I think Malaysia is a country that's next to China or something. So, you know, the quality is pretty much the same. And the front of the lens, the lens barrel is made out of plastic. This is pretty much a plastic fantastic. Everything here is made out of plastic, no metal parts. This feels like a toy that you put on your toy DSLR buddy. It has a 0.45 meter or 1.5 feet closest focus. You can focus that. That's the close focus you can get at this thing. It has a 52 millimeter filter thread. So if you want to put filters on this barrel over there, you see that screw on stuff. You can put on 52 millimeters. It's made by Canon Incorporated. Uh, Canon lens, yeah, 50 millimeter, one point minus, and it has autofocus and manual focus. And as with all Canon lens, believe it or not, when I tell you this, is that all of them has a motor inside. I have disassembled a Canon lens before, and I have to say that all this thing comes with a built-in motor. And like Nikon lenses, in which most of them does not come with a built-in motor. It all is literally just a bunch of 
things built inside something like that you know to make it move faster but then again though despite Nikon not having a built-in motor it's still about the same price as a Canon lens I have no idea why that is and there you go that's how it looks like in a 5d mark 2 5d mark 2 is a very professional DSLR is a professional DSLR it doesn't have like a built-in flash so um, it looks kind of normal with this thing attached it's not too bulky it's sort of front there 50 millimeter um, what do you call it 50 millimeter what do you call it 50 millimeter focal length there you go there you go plastic filter transformer you got CE at the back so um, let's just open this thing up and see how it looks like when I'm taking photos so um, the viewfinder right the viewfinder obviously you guys want to be want to see what what it looks like in the viewfinder that so I'm going to just show there that is what the 5050 looks like in the you know what I'm about to turn on the autofocus it's kind of in middle focus right now <clears throat> you hear that noise that is it focusing and you can Oh, there you go. That's what it looks like. That's what the thing looks like. That's what the entire thing looks like from the viewfinder. And that is our result. That is what it looks like. Let me just show you. There you go. This is what the Nifty 50 is capable of doing at 2.8. See that? That's what it looks like. It is reasonably sharp, reasonably nice. Uh, I have to say I'm quite impressed with a, 50, with a $250 lens. If you guys want to pick it up, go ahead. I don't think that they are selling the lens anymore though. And uh, these days, oh yeah, due to the fact that these days it has been replaced by some kind of a much better quality lens than STM or something, it's STM 50mm in which it has a metal base plate but it's a lot more expensive than this one and I do believe that it is about the same sharpness but I prefer the old one because it is much cheaper it's a meme of the photographic world back then so yeah it's decent like at 2 at, at 2 at, at f2 it's really really sharp at f2.8 it's super sharp, at f4 it's mega sharp, and at f8 it's the sharpest. So yeah, that's my review of the 50mm Nifty 50 f1.8 Canon lens. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more videos. To end this off, I am going to draw you guys. Megumin again. So Megumin looks like this. That is her head. There you go. This is gonna be a super. That is Megumin. I'm going to draw Megumin right now. I don't know why I'm putting this because I'm like really really bored. What the heck am I doing? I should be drawing the lens instead, right? There you go. So yeah, let's just draw the lens. I think that's what the lens like, uh, 50 meter. There you go, that's the lens. See? I'm such a good artist. There you go. See? It's a lens. It's a freaking lens. Ah, yeah. Whatever, man. <laughs> Whatever, man. Thanks for watching one of my videos. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you again with another review, tutorial, whatever video that I'm making. And hopefully that you enjoy. Please, please, please subscribe to me. I need 1,000 subscribers so I can get monetized and make money out of YouTube. Those are her arms, by the way. And those are her legs. <laughs> anyway, later.